Japan is facing one of the largest population collapses in modern history. By the year 2060, Japan's population is expected to drop by a third to about 80 million people. The country is trying to tackle the crisis by introducing lifelike robots to help with daily life. A new CBS News primetime series, series, CBSN on assignment, looks at the humanoids. Adam Yamaguchi traveled to the University of Osaka. He learns why Japan's culture is uniquely suited to accept the machines. Wow. I can see her breathing, her shoulders sort of going in and out. Do you ever find yourself working in here and you freak out because you turn away, you look away? Never. You, you don't get startled? No, the goal here is to make the robots as realistic as possible to test how humans react and respond to humanoids. She <laughs> feels very realistic. Is my response typical? No. It's Actually, not. people won't touch it. People will ask for permission before they touch her. <laughs> my parents didn't teach me any manners yeah. is the problem, that's all. Hi. Hi, Hi nice Adam Yamaguchi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. These robots are the creation of Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro, known as the godfather of humanoids. Oh my god, how many robots do you have in here? And one of his most famous creations is himself in humanoid form. The, the people the think, uh, you know, the, my motivation is, is to build a robot, but it is not true. So my motivation is to understand what human is by developing a human-like robot. In 50 years, the Japanese population is going to be a half half of our current population. Uh, but still, of course, you know that we want to keep the same level of quality of life. So the, how we can do that? answer is to develop a robot that can support our daily life. Adam Yamaguchi is with us now. Adam, good morning. Morning. So how are the Japanese looking to integrate these robots? In every way. Yeah. I mean, if, in simple terms, what they envision is essentially Westworld. Mm -hmm. They want to find a society or create a society Westworld, in which- Westworld, that show on HBO. On HBO. Mm -hmm. They want to create a society in which robots, humanoids and humans, live and coexist side by side. And, and the lines between those two are, are blurred. So you'll, you'll see them, you already see them in restaurants and shopping malls. You'll start to see them working as, as news anchors, mm -hmm. as teachers. Stop talking, Adam. <laughs> Stop talking. It was a little creepy because they were so lifelike to me. The blinking is what got me and the turning of the head. What was it like for you who touched them without asking, yeah. as he pointed out? I would say the only difference between the, the robots and, and, and a real life human was, was that her skin was much colder. Uh -huh. That was the only thing. But you know, when I sat down and interviewed Erica the robot, momentarily I would forget that she was not in fact a, a human. Uh, she looks at you, she blinks, she nods, she acknowledges that you're there and, and you forget. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the whole idea. The roboticist that we talked to had said, the moment you start to forget that this is not in fact a human is when we've succeeded. And what's happening in Japan is going to happen here and everywhere else Absolutely. around the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Adam. Looks like a great piece. Yeah, thank you. thank you. And you can watch Adam's full report on the premiere episode of CBSN on assignment. It airs Monday night at 10, 9 central here on CBS and our streaming network, CBSN.